Welcome to Circuit Master Class. Today, we are exploring a crucial safety component in high voltage underground power systems the Earth Continuity Conductor or ECC. We use single core cables in underground high voltage transmission, especially above 33 kilovolts, because they're lighter and easier to transport than thick heavy three-core alternatives. Each single core cable is wrapped in a metallic sheath that acts as an electrical shield. We ground the metallic sheath at least at one point to contain the electric field and protect the insulation. Grounding both ends, called both end bonding, improves shielding, but it comes with a downside. If you ground more than one point of the sheath, Circulating currents flow continuously during normal operation. These currents cause resistive losses and heating, which forces the cable to be derated. To avoid this, engineers often use single-end or cross-end bonding. But single-end bonding leaves one end floating, which can allow dangerously high induced voltage especially as you move further from the earthed side. This is actually open at this end. These are sheath voltage limiters. Therefore, these ends are not directly connected to the earth. So, how do we prevent lethal sheath voltages in single end systems? The answer lies in combining sheath voltage limiters with an earth continuity conductor. The ECC steps in as a backup fault current path, just like an overhead earth wire on transmission towers. When a fault occurs, it gives fault, current and alternative route straight back to the substation's earthing grid. Without ECC, all fault current must flow through the sheath, raising its voltage dangerously. With ECC in place, fault current diverts, reducing sheath voltage and improving safety significantly. In short, ECC serves two main purposes. It lowers dangerous sheath voltage by carrying fault current away. It offers a safe return path to the substation earthing system, like an underground earth wire. Let's look under the hood. ECCs are typically made from copper because it conducts well and lasts long. Sometimes we use copper clad steel when extra mechanical strength is needed. E, C, C is finely stranded and twisted. This design increases the effective cross-section, reduces skin and proximity effects, and gives the E, C, C flexibility. We also insulate the E, C, C to provide environmental and electrical protection. Sizing the E, C, C correctly is critical. For example, in a 220 kV system with a 40 kA short circuit lasting 3 seconds, the ECC must handle that current for the full duration without damage. To wrap up, ECC ensures safe fault current diversion, prevents sheath voltage spikes, complements voltage limiters, and is built to endure real world fault conditions. Thanks for watching. If you want to dive deeper into bonding schemes, protective calculations, or real world examples, hit subscribe or drop a comment below. Until next time, keep your circuits grounded and your engineering sharp.